So when Richard has really, really bad breath, I'll be like, baby, you have to brush your teeth. And he'll be like, oh, okay. And he'll just lick my face. And his, Richard, are you serious? Or no, are you serious right now? Are you, you serious right now? You, you did that to me like two days ago. No, I did not. He's laughing. He knows he did it. Okay, next question. You guys, I did Hey guys, it's Paul and welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday and you know what that means. It's Tuesdays with Richard! Oh. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, let's go. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm fine. That's serious. Did you really take the camera off of me like that? No, I put the camera on. Why? Are you serious? Babe. It's like we're both Okay, I guess it is Tuesdays. Oh my god. It's still very centered on you. No, it's not. I can't even see myself. We thought it would be fun to not only showcase how well we know each other, but also help you get a little bit better acquainted with us. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna ask a question and Richard's going to answer it as if he were me. So essentially, you know, I'll be like, hey, what would happen if this happened? Like, what would I do? And Richard w is gonna tell you what I would do. And uh, we'll see how accurate I'm getting on, let's make sure the rules are clear here. Okay. So, you're going to ask the question, I'm going to s tell you what you would say as Paul or as how I would envision what you would say. Are they the same? No, because there's, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You yeah. guys, Richard's a lawyer, by the way. I get that. <laughs> well, that's where I think I'm, I'm confused. Mm -hmm. Am I going to say what I think you would say? Mm -hmm. Or am I going to say what I think you would say as Paul? So like, you mean, are you... Like, like really dramatic, you know? Like, <laughs> Richard, I thought that was assumed. Stop. Stop. So, we all remember the whisper challenge. Yas, queen. Where, you know, Paul speaks like this. <laughs> you know, everything's so big. <gasps> like, it's too much. So, am I gonna, you know, maybe... Oh my god. Okay, we all that? remember Verbosa. <laughs> you have been talking way too long. I so, first question. What would I do if someone came running through that door trying to rob us? <laughs> what would Paul do? Hold on. So I have some questions here. No, they're, no. Really? Yeah, really. Are we on the couch? Are we sleeping? Is it dead silent? No, no. Because how I envision oh it God. is... It's actually, so actually you guys, last night, so we live in like a building, there's like, it's, it's secure. I thought I heard someone trying to get in. I literally had the vision of what would Paul do right now? And he would freak and he would make me, which there's not much room in the closet, but he would like make a bunch of noise. So the person, you know, coming in, would, that's how I, I envision you if someone broke into the house and tried to rob us. Now, how would I? Respond. Well, you would probably get up and ask the robber a million questions <laughs> about why they're here, what they're doing, clarifying everything. Do they know that we don't have much for them to take? Um, like, you would ask them all these questions. You know what I may ask them? If they're looking for a husband. What? Because I'm about to give, them, give you to the robber. That's probably why they'd be in here, to come <laughs> steal me away from you. <laughs> All right, next uh, question. What is the first thing I would buy if we won the lottery? Okay, so I have some questions. Just kidding, oh I have no questions. I totally was like, yeah. I have no questions. Let's be honest, like the lottery, is it like 50,000? Is it 100 million? Because let's be honest, people, that makes a difference. Valid. I would have the same idea. Same question. Do you want to rephrase your question then? No. I thought about it, but I just assumed you would you know, be smart enough to ask those questions. 
this isn't like you ask a question and then I ask a question. This is you ask a question and then the first thing that comes to my head I say. What would Richard buy if we won the lottery? Okay, so first things first, Richard wouldn't buy anything. He would put everything in the savings account and sit on it and go crazy and not like, and like track it every day and make sure that like I haven't pulled any money out to go buy something. And then he would hem and haw over maybe going to buy like a Porsche Panamera. And then he'd be like, no, 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 we need to buy a house. And then he would, we would go look at houses and he'd say, these houses are too expensive. And then he'd say, we need to move somewhere cheaper and make an investment. And then he'd go back and then he'd look at the savings and he'd be like, I don't want to drain anything from our savings account. And then we just have a boring savings account. That's what would happen. Yeah. Okay. So Richard, what would I do if we won the law? You would buy all the shoes and drain our entire savings account really? on shoes. Really, Richard? You think that I'm that irresponsible? Okay. No one's saying you're irresponsible. You said, I don't- You're putting words in my mouth. Really? Yeah. Because you said I would drain our entire savings account. On shoes. Why do you think Next question. I don't think he knows me very well. I'm practical. What would Paul do if he found out that he only had 24 hours to live? Paul would. Oh, I got it. Paul would go and buy more shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and just leave you, you with know, the bill. <laughs> you know he he would say, "I'm going out with you know, some fancy pair." Yeah, but I don't know. That doesn't sound like such a snooze fest. <sighs> Anyhow, if you only, if you found out that you only had one day to live, yeah. you would call out of work, and you would make sure that your handsome husband was by your side the entire day, and you would go on a hike and you would then go test drive a Porsche Panamera and probably not return it and just like drive off into the sunset. And I think that because you're such a control freak, you would crash the Panamera and take your own life. Oh my God, you guys, we just got really dark. But he's totally right. <laughs> <laughs> So much fun, Paul. Um, so thank you all for watching. We can't wait to make some more content Bye. for you. <laughs> he begged me to do that. You guys, the entire time he was like this. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Tuesdays with Richard. If you like this, please, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We upload a new video every single Tuesdays with... <laughs> please share this. That would mean the world to us. Bye. What do you mean? I have to do all the editing. <laughs> Did I get a mouth drop? This one over here is playing Stilly Stupid Head. Stilly? Define Stilly. I meant Exactly. It would be in Buckingham Palace, because that's where I am. Okay, queen.